You know, Denzel Washington has a knack for making some killer movies, and the Equalizer franchise is no exception. But what's really cool is when you dive into his best scenes within this action-packed series. Now, Denzel isn't usually the first name that pops up when you think of action movie stars, but let's not forget, he's got some action-packed roles in his filmography. We're talking Virtuosity, Safe House, The Book of Eli, and a whole bunch more. But The Equalizer is where he really found his groove, and Robert McCall is the one film character he's played more than once. Sure, these films serve up Denzel in action hero mode, with all the epic showdowns and slick one-liners you could ask for. But here's the twist. They also give him some juicy dramatic material to sink his teeth into. Think powerful scenes alongside talents like Melissa Leo, Chloe Grace Moretz, and Pedro Pascal. These movies aren't just about explosions and fight sequences. They're all about building up McCall as a character, giving us a deep dive into who he is. Now that Denzel seems to have wrapped up his stint as McCall with The Equalizer 3, it's the perfect time to kick back and reminisce about some of his standout moments from the franchise. It's like a cinematic journey through the best of Denzel in action mode, and trust me, it's a ride worth taking. 10. The Equalizer What do you see when you look at me? Oh, McCall from The Equalizer? He's got the patience of a saint, doesn't he? The way he gives his enemies a shot at redemption before he goes all equalizing on them is something to behold. But let's talk about one of the absolute gems from the series, that scene in the original movie. McCall strolls into a fancy restaurant where a Russian mafia enforcer named Teddy, played by the intense Martin Chokas, is having a leisurely dinner. Now, McCall isn't your typical action hero who just goes in guns blazing. No, he's got this unique style. He calmly warns Teddy to back off like a polite but deadly gentleman. And then he hits us with a monologue that's pure Denzel magic. He shares this haunting story about a troubled Russian orphan. This kid gets adopted by a renowned scholar, and even though everyone thought he was a lost cause, this scholar and his wife showered the boy with love and care. Sounds heartwarming, right? Well, hold on to your seat, because here's the kicker. The scholar and his wife meet a mysterious demise. McCall, with that signature gravitas, makes us believe that the boy might have been responsible because he was scared of being loved. It's like a masterclass in storytelling, and Denzel delivers it with such power. The subtext here isn't exactly subtle, but that's the beauty of it. It underlines that no matter how bad Teddy thinks he is, McCall has this darkness inside him that can match or even surpass anything Teddy can throw at him. It's a chilling moment that sticks with you long after the credits roll. Denzel at his finest. 9. The Equalizer. McCall nails him. All right, let's dive into The Equalizer's opening act. Picture this. McCall, now living a retired life, is just your average guy working at Home Mart your friendly neighborhood hardware store. But when he needs a battleground to take on Teddy and his gang, guess where he picks? Yep, you got it, good old Home Mart. Now this is where things get seriously cool. It's like a page out of Home Alone, but with a Denzel Washington twist. McCall goes all MacGyver on us, taking down Teddy's henchmen one by one in the most inventive ways. And guess what he uses to finish the job? A nail gun. It's like a DIY action sequence of epic proportions. Here's the kicker. Denzel doesn't need a lot of words to convey his message during this finale. He's a man on a mission, and he transforms the usually affable McCall into what can only be described as the walking personification of death. It's a masterclass in silent but deadly action, and Denzel absolutely owns it. This sequence is a total game-changer and a standout moment in the franchise. Denzel at his most intense, and we're here for it. 8. The Equalizer, 100 Books All right, let's talk about this touching subplot from the first film. McCall, as you might know, has this list of 100 books that his late wife was working her way through. When he can't catch some shut-eye, he heads over to an all-night diner to dive into those books. That's where he crosses paths with Moretz's character, Terry, or Alina, as she's known, a teenage prostitute caught up with the Russian mafia. Now this scene is pure heartwarming goodness. McCall and Alina strike up an unexpected friendship. He shares his book list project with her, and she opens up about her dreams of becoming a singer. It's a genuinely sweet moment that shows the human side of McCall and why he's willing to take on the mafia when things take a dark turn for Alina, and she ends up beaten and hospitalized. This scene is like the emotional anchor of the movie, giving us a glimpse into McCall's caring nature and what drives him to become the vigilante we root for. It's moments like these that make The Equalizer more than just an action flick. It's got heart, and Denzel's performance in these quieter moments is just as compelling as his action hero side. 7. The Equalizer. Time out. Let's dive into the first big action sequence in The Equalizer, shall we? So McCall, our vigilante with a heart of gold, 
decides to take matters into his own hands when Alina gets roughed up by the Russian mafia. He strolls right up to these mobsters and does something unexpected. He offers to buy Alina's freedom. But you guessed it, these mafia folks aren't exactly known for their manners. They insult McCall and shoot down his offer like it's nothing. So McCall's like, all right, plan B it is. Here's where it gets interesting. See, McCall isn't your run-of-the-mill action hero who just relies on brute force. No, sir. He's mentally mapped out all these improvised weapons he could use, stuff like a corkscrew, a glass, you name it. And then he does something that's just mind-blowing. He times himself. Like, he's casually killing these bad guys and he's keeping tabs on how long it takes him. It's like a deadly game of precision and strategy. And even though it takes him about 12 seconds longer than he expected, the end result is nothing short of jaw-dropping. McCall is like a symphony conductor of violence, orchestrating the chaos with lethal precision. This scene is a testament to Denzel's portrayal of McCall as a calculated and methodical force to be reckoned with. It's action cinema at its finest, and it sets the tone for the whole franchise. Bravo, Denzel. 6. The Equalizer. 2. Spilling the Tea. Let's talk about a powerful moment from The Equalizer 2. It's a scene that kicks off the movie, and it's got McCall in Istanbul dealing with a pretty awful situation. So there's this abusive father who's taken his daughter away from her mother as some kind of twisted punishment. McCall, being the vigilante with a moral compass, decides he's had enough of this nonsense. He confronts the father, lays down some hard truth with that line. There are two kinds of pain in the world, the pain that hurts and the pain that alters. McCall's not just about physical force, he's about changing people's minds and hearts. But when things get messy and the father's henchmen attack, McCall does what he does best. He takes them out. But here's where it gets interesting. Even after all the chaos, McCall gives this abusive guy a choice. He's like, look, you can still make things right. Give the child back to her mother. Do the right thing. It's a moment that shows McCall's not just about vengeance, he's about justice and redemption. This scene sets the tone for the movie, highlighting McCall's unwavering commitment to making the world a better place, one person at a time. It's a reminder that there's more to his character than just action hero bravado. Denzel's portrayal adds depth to McCall, making him one of the most memorable vigilantes in cinematic history. 5. The Equalizer 2. The Hurricane, hold on to your hats because we're diving into arguably the best set piece in the series. It all goes down during the ending of The Equalizer 2, and it's a doozy. McCall's got a bone to pick with his former partner and friend, York, who turned out to be a traitor. So what does McCall do? He takes York to his hometown for a little equalizing. But here's the twist. A full-blown hurricane is raging all around them. It's like nature itself is throwing a tantrum while these two go at it. And you know what McCall does? He doesn't let a little hurricane rain on his parade. Nope. He uses the chaos of the storm to his advantage. It's a dynamic and intense finale, where McCall once again proves that he's the master of improvisation. He turns the hurricane's fury into his weapon, making for some seriously epic action. It's a testament to Denzel's portrayal of McCall as this resourceful and relentless force, even when facing the fury of Mother Nature. This scene is the cherry on top of an action-packed franchise that knows how to keep you on the edge of your seat. 4. The Equalizer 2. Why not you? Let's dive into a subplot from the second Equalizer movie that's all about McCall being the ultimate mentor and protector. So, there's this teenager named Miles, a talented aspiring artist with dreams and potential. McCall, being the wise and caring soul that he is, takes the young fella under his wing. But things take a dark turn when Miles gets caught up with a local gang. They want him to do something unspeakable as an initiation. McCall, being the righteous force he is, can't stand by and watch this happen. He storms into that apartment building, grabs Miles at gunpoint, and well, let's just say he gives the young man a serious reality check. He's not all soft and cuddly in this scene. McCall lays down some hard truths. He's furious with Miles, angry that this bright kid even considered becoming a killer. McCall doesn't hold back. He berates him, saying he's too young to understand what death truly means. But here's where it gets heartwarming. McCall doesn't just yell at the kid and leave him hanging. No, he wins Miles over with his wisdom and compassion. And when Miles asks, why would you do this for me? McCall's response is a simple but powerful, why not you? It's a moment that shows McCall's unwavering belief in the goodness of people, even when they've lost their way. Denzel brings depth to McCall's character, and scenes like this one make us root for him even more. 3. The Equalizer. 3. 9 Seconds. Alright, let's talk about how The Equalizer 3 kicks things off with a bang, quite literally. 
You know the drill by now, McCall being all calm and threatening, and then, well, timing himself as he takes down the bad guys. This time, though, they up the ante. The movie starts with McCall having already pulled off a massive off-screen massacre in an Italian mafia stronghold. When the boss and his goons finally confront him, things get real intense. McCall is on a whole new level of brutality here. He doesn't go for the kill right away. Instead, he tortures his target with some non-fatal gunshot wounds before delivering the final blow. And you know what? Denzel Washington absolutely nails it in this sequence. He's at his menacing best, and it's clear that McCall is in a much darker and grittier headspace in part three. The stakes are higher, the action is more intense, and it's a wild ride from the get-go, too. The Equalizer. Three, the median nerve. Ah, here we go again with McCall's trademark quiet yet menacing moments, and the Equalizer 3 doesn't disappoint. Picture this, a restaurant, some mafia thug named Marco causing a ruckus and intimidating folks. And then there's McCall, calmly observing the chaos. But when Marco decides to take his threats to the next level and gets all up in McCall's face, things take a turn. McCall grabs Marco's hand, and with a simple press on the median nerve, he sends Marco into intense agony. And you won't believe what he says next. McCall casually mentions that if he presses that nerve just a tad harder, Marco might, well, let's say he wouldn't have a good day. McCall, in his unique way, politely suggests that Marco and his crew should pack up and do their shady business in another town, but of course they don't listen, and that's when the blood starts flowing. It's these little moments that make the franchise so darn intriguing, don't you think? 1. The Equalizer 3. Take Me Now here's a moment from The Equalizer 3 that's packed with emotions. After taking care of Marco, his fiercer brother Vincent rolls into town and starts terrorizing the locals to reveal the person behind Marco's demise. McCall, not one to back down, decides to turn himself in, but he's got one condition. He doesn't want to meet his end in front of everyone. Seems like a reasonable request, right? Well, Vincent isn't feeling too generous that day. He plans to make McCall's death a public spectacle, a warning for anyone else thinking of crossing him. It's a tense situation, to say the least. But McCall, in one of the most heartfelt scenes in the Equalizer series, opens up and lays it all on the line. He's willing to sacrifice himself to protect the friends he's made along the way. It's these moments of vulnerability that really give depth to his character, don't you think? That brings us to the end of today's video. What was your favorite scene from the franchise? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, then please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.